I do tend to talk a lot, get otherwise to, you just... To, yeah, exactly. <laughs> mental health and mental fragility. A papillon de verre is a butterfly which is very frail, but in reality, this papillon de verre, it lives on the night jasmine flower, uh, which is toxic. The thing that appears to be innocent and frail is deadly. The Papillon de Verre has two openings. The first opening scene is actually a nurse in the, the hospital. She walks into a room where an old man is lying in the bed and she prepares a syringe and she injects him with a product called Aimaline with an overdose and induces a heart infarct. The next opening scene uh, is a young boy who, uh, who's on his paper route and he uh, parks his bike by a fountain in the middle of the pedestrian area and sees in the water the body of a naked dead woman. And those two stories are intertwined in the Papillon de Verre. There is uh, the male investigator, Jeppe Körner, who is a more uh, introvert and sensitive than his partner, Annette Werner, who is the female investigator. She is a more almost burly, she's a very strong woman. So they are two very different characters. And in many ways, they are very, um, um, how do you say, on the fence about how to work things out and they never see eye to eye. So they have their problems. Fleuve édition, à chaque page, son univers.